So one of the problems with CERDs is that it's quite difficult to visualize exactly what root 2 is as a number. And not just to really visualize it, but in also calculating it. But if you, even if you did have it calculated out to, say, seven or eight decimal places, then if you then wanted to add or subtract thirds, then it seems like something that you could feasibly do. Add uh, two numbers that are put out to eight decimal places, and that seems reasonable. We could do that. Even multiplication of them uh, doesn't seem too bad. But when it comes to division, then there's a problem, because if I need to work out what 1 divided by root 2 is, then I need to be able to divide 1 by 1.4, yada, 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 okay? So, you know, if you pop root 2 into a calculator, okay, it's, after all, it's uh, an irrational number, um, and it's 1.4142135622, and it goes on and on and on forever. And if you're trying to do 1 divided by that, then you hit major problems, OK? Now, obviously, the calculator um, would be able to tell you what 1 divided by the square root of 2 is, OK? But in itself, it would be a huge computational problem, OK? So, how do we get around it? Well, that's where this concept of rationalizing the denominator comes in. So, rationalizing the denominator. The idea is trying to find another way of writing the uh, fraction so what I'm saying is if I had to deal with 1 over root 2, for example, we want to find another way of dealing with this fraction so that we don't have a third in the denominator. We want to rationalize it, OK? We want to make the denominator not an irrational number. So we've got to find another way of writing this down. We don't want to make the fraction any larger or any smaller, it must maintain the same size. So whatever we do to the numerator, we must do to the denominator. So if I multiply this by an, a fraction that is just 1, okay, then I won't change the value of my original fraction. So I can choose what this 1 looks like. I can choose it to be a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are the same. So if I choose this fraction to be root 2 over root 2, for example, and the reason why I would choose that is to enable this multiplication of root 2 and root 2 in the denominator, because I know that root 2 times root 2 is just 2. 1 times root 2 is root 2. So 1 over root 2 is the same as root 2 divided by 2. So I have rationalized the denominator just by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the same amount. And it's really our choice about which amount this is, OK, uh, in the numerator denominator. But we chose root 2 specifically because we knew that it would cancel out that root 2 there. Now, back to the original problem. 1 divided by root 2 is very challenging. Okay, Even if you know that root 2 is out to 8 decimal places, 1 divided by that number is a very difficult thing to do. If you've got that 8 decimal um, version of root 2, that, um, your calculator display, dividing it by 2 
that's a lot easier and a lot quicker to do. So they both give you the same result, but this one is clearly a lot faster. And that's why we would rationalize the denominator. That's the whole idea behind the process. So in the next video, we will go through some more examples of this to see how it works in practice.